What's going on, guys? How you doing? Um, I'm Nate. I'm really, really excited to be here with you guys. I, I think uh, I'm going to value the feedback you guys are going to have to give me. So uh, I wanted to start this out with a story, if it's okay. Um, this is my daughter. Her name's Kaylee. This is about two years ago or so. It was the day before Easter. And we went to a giant Easter egg hunt in Chesapeake City Park. We show up. Um, we're excited. We line up to go on the Easter egg hunt and we can tell immediately that there is a terrible egg to kid ratio. Like some kids were not going to get these eggs and you could feel like the tension mounting. And there was a rope separating us from the eggs. They led the countdown. Three, two, one. Rope drops. Everybody converges on this pile of eggs. Um, it was like the scene from Braveheart, like just kids <laughs> running, it was like complete like mayhem. So fast forward to 30 seconds later and the dust settles and every egg is gone. Put down on my daughter, she has two eggs. We high five and we are heading out. Over here I hear a voice of a dad say, my kid's got no eggs, my kid has no eggs. And I'm like, sorry about your luck, buddy. We got ours, we're gone turn around to get my daughter and she's gone too. She's walking to the guy who was yelling. And she reached in her basket, grabbed an egg, and put it into his daughter's basket. And then went into her basket and grabbed her second and final egg and put it into the basket. Turned around to me, started walking, biggest grin on her face, super happy with herself. My heart was full. I was a little conflicted because I was like, we worked hard for those eggs, but she was super happy. And if the story ended there, it'd be fantastic. But what happened next was truly special. There was another kid and parent who saw that happen and came and gave her an egg. Another one saw the same thing happen and gave her an egg. Then kids started exchanging eggs within themselves. And in this moment that just like two minutes ago was complete mayhem, was a feeling of community and like generosity that was truly amazing. Um, and, and so um, I wanted to take kind of that feeling that I had that day and bolster it up to a larger scale, create something that can have that same feeling of uh, sharing and like generosity and help encourage that like in society. And that's where um, we, we like developed the name Charmity and it's been changed to Project Charmity since. And we're gonna have several like initiatives tied in with that. But the first is, I mean, the first initiative um, is gonna be tied in with this. We think giving should be fun and engaging. And that there are real benefits to the giver, both physical, spiritual, and social. Happiness is found when you actively take a role in helping others. Um, some people, you know, when you're focused on yourself so much can be narcissistic. Some can be focused on their own flaws to the point where they have low like self-esteem. If you're focused on the needs of others and help apply those to them, then uh, it's hard to be any of those two. And uh, we share everything else in life, so let's share something positive and like, worthwhile. So everything we have is going to be around that sharing type of vibe. Um, this is our first uh, product. to so give you kind of an overview. I think it'll play the music. Let's face it. We love to share favorite foods, phone apps, or anything else that excites us. Sometimes we even overshare. When it comes to our giving, though, we tend to keep it to ourselves. Enter Charmity. At Charmity, we believe that giving once is wonderful, but magic happens when we share that experience with others close to us. We design fun and decorative charms that make it easy to share both online and in person. Each charm is designed to tell the story of a worthy charity using colors and patterns that represent them. Charmity charms are designed to be worn on a bag, keychain, or any other highly visible location. To make sharing easy, tap the charm to your NFC-enabled phone, or simply scan the QR code on the bottom. Then the phone will go directly to our website where we will explain the need and that charity's amazing work in a short, engaging video. We will also encourage others to help by purchasing a charm of their own, giving directly to the cause, or find similar volunteer opportunities in your area. Oh yeah, $10 from every charm purchased goes directly to the charity. Registering your charm is easy, and our website will give you bonuses for shares both online and in person. 
will show you graphically how much you directly contributed and how much money you've been able to raise by just sharing with friends. Sharing multiplies your contribution, and the best part, it is free to share. When you share and partner with us, you will receive Charmony points, which can be used to level up to exclusive gear, get first dibs on exciting new products, and many other surprises. Join with us, and together we can make this world better and have some fun along the way. You can help generosity go viral with Charmity. So that's a general idea. I'll, I'll like touch base on a couple of those key points. Um, these are some uh, pictures of the charms in the wild. Um, so what are Charmity charms? Charmity charms are made to be displayed in a prominent like location, either keychain, bag, whatever, and it's meant to spark a giving conversation between on the bottom of each charm is designed um, or it is like designed yeah, with a specific color and with patterns that are specific to that cause. And uh, those patterns will change annually. So it becomes a collector's type item. And so you buy this once and you can buy different charms for different charities or you can upgrade when the 2017 version is available. When we launch our Kickstarter, we will have Kickstarter exclusive ones. So once you buy that, it won't be available anywhere else after Kickstarter. Um, these will contain in the bottom both a QR code and an NFC. So with NFC, the same technology that allows you to make mobile payments from your phone, you simply, um, simply tap it to the bottom of your phone and it takes you directly to the website that will explain the need in a very engaging video, give you a feed about that particular cause, and give you specific ways to impact it immediately. And so um, the user, when you get this, will like, I mean like, well like go to our website and like register it. From that point, uh, every time it's shared either online, in person, on your social media, whatever, we will give you Charmity points, which allow you to level up. So imagine you've been involved with us about six months, you've been actively um, sharing this with people, uh, getting friends involved and you go to the mailbox and there's an exclusive rose gold top that you can't buy but it's available as you get involved. There'll be things like that available. Uh, we may be testing uh, pilot programs and we might send you an item if you're that heavily involved if you're like an active like ambassador with us. Um, you can track your impact on our website. Again, it will track in real time the amount of shares you have available and it will also track the amount of people that convert into purchases or donations. So you can see maybe uh, $5 from this charm was donated to that cause, but because you shared with somebody who shared with somebody who shared with somebody, you can kind of see your giving tree as it, um, as it shows like graphically. And so if you look at this, with one simple act, you can track the people that you share and who they share with and who they share with. You know, we're not gonna give you names or data like that, but you can see the impact that you're having. And again, you can see how much that you were able to raise by purchasing directly from us or donating directly to our site, but then you also get to see the total impact you can have beyond that just by doing one simple act, and that's by displaying and sharing it with others. And so uh, there's a lot of implications, a lot of like advantages for the nonprofits, and I could get into that, but I'll, I'll save you from that. But what we're looking to do is far beyond products. We have a number of different products that are gonna be available. This is the first of a line. Everything will be focused on helping spread, uh, you know, like spread people who are living like generously. Um, it'll be about promoting charities and getting people involved who wouldn't normally be involved. Uh, we're gonna have content. Everything's gonna be narrative driven, very upbeat and, and like extremely shareable on your social networking pages. Um, we have web and app integration where we find novel ways to connect both in-person online and we're going to have some in-person experiences that are going to be available. Once you're partnering with us, imagine getting um, a like notification, hey there's a Toys for Tots drive, everybody in the Charmony Network within this area is going to meet at Military Highway at 6 o'clock, let's bring toys and overwhelm them and create kind of a flash mob type of effect. You show up, we're gonna have a DJ of food. It turns into an instant party. And so we're doing good, we're having fun, we're networking together. And then we have some great plans for school programs as well where we teach uh, kids to look inside themselves into their individual talents and find ways that they can apply that 
to helping others and really getting people involved and getting people excited early. And so that's the core of what we're looking to do. We're looking to really um, bring generosity to the forefront and highlight what's in it for you by getting involved. Um, so far, we've completed our, our like provisional patent process. We have our trademarks, logos, LLC is set up, our product is designed. Uh, we have like some like prototypes done. And these are the first run like prototypes. The like manufacturer that I work with, I've seen the like materials that he's gonna use. And these things are gonna be jewelry-like. And after some uh, speaking with some of the, uh, with like some of our core like demographics, uh, we're gonna shrink down to this size so it's uh, it fits uh, better within smaller bags and keychains and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we're able to source the 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 like different like technology that um, will make that available. For a while, that was the big barrier. You had to make it so that it would work with the technology. We've solved that problem. Our website up is is like up and running. We started the tooling process in order to help um, shorten that Kickstarter lag that people experience when they purchase something from Kickstarter and like eight years later they finally get it if at all. Um, and um, the next up, we are we're in the middle of uh, planning our storyboard for the like, Kickstarter. We're going to shoot our video. We're going to pull through the like utility patent and get that wrapped up. Uh, continue content creation. It's going to be very content driven, um, and plan and execute a like successful launch and um, and being able to get in front of people like you guys. It's really helpful if you believe in this project. A big ask that I would have for you guys is, you want to get involved in some level, um, like. See me, give me your name, and give me your email address, and I can blast to you guys when we're ready to launch. And if you guys could share it, if you believe in this project with your like network, that would be extremely helpful because this works when people share, and we will encourage as much as we can. And uh, that's my daughter now; she's five. She's oh, fantastic. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I thought I'd do that. So, uh, yeah, questions? So, are you set up as a nonprofit? We are not. Uh, we have filled out the paperwork in order to uh, start to count ourselves as a benefit-like organization. There's a scorecard that's um, out, and until we're really sure about the sourcing and how that's going to play in, because that's a big part of it, right. we're going to shoot for that. It's not going to be a nonprofit, though. We're going to be aiding nonprofits as a marketing that won't cost. You know. okay. But we'll be like working with them. We'll have a lot of charitable partners. That's a good question. Hey. So, um, why is it important to incorporate um, giving back? and um, having more of a pro-social movement within your company. Why is that important? Yeah, like, I mean, like, excellent question. I think um, we live in a world where um, social media is taking the forefront, and there's a, a generation, I've noticed it with my nieces and nephews and their friends, how it's, um, I'm not gonna paint the entire generation with one broad brush, <laughs> but there is uh, a certain me first type of generation I want to portray the best version of myself and then I compare myself with other people's self online and that doesn't lead to happiness I believe I think true happiness is found when you can look at that basket that invisible basket we have that includes talents and money and an interesting perspective and we can look up in the middle of the chaos and plug that into people so if we can put the put our focus on the needs of others then I think that can impact people and if we can really share with people and really drive that message through with real data, with real like scientific data, it says, okay, this is what's in it for you, and encourage people in a way where it's fun and not guilt-ridden to get involved with this stuff. I think we can, you know, I hate to speak in like hyperbole, but start a movement. Um, and so, does that answer your question? Yeah, it is, and I think that um, I think it's a product is awesome, and, and giving back is, is very important, and people like to do business with people that are really good Yeah, thank you, I appreciate that. Hey, yo, man. Hey, just uh, not really a question, more so a compliment. I agree with them. I kind of like what he's doing. I think it sort of plays off the people, like you say, that me first generation. Kind of plays off the narcissism of some people who maybe give not for the best reasons, but they do it just to share it and say, look, I donated. You know, so this really makes it to where you kind of have to really share it and really be involved in it to get that. I guess do it right and feel good. You know, yeah. Feeling that most people like. Like some people won't do it unless somebody else is watching. Right. And not that we're looking to encourage that, but. This could be that gateway drug to live a more like I mean to live, you know like live a life that's more like generous and like through our content we're gonna really push that through. So I guess to be blunt, are you a 
interactive marketing company that promotes charities or are you a content creation and product company that promotes charities? Um, first things first, I think the main mission of what we have is to enable people to live like a more like generous life and communicate the importance of that. I think a byproduct um, and one of the tools we use to do that is to, is, is to connect generous people with well-run charities that are vetted. Um, but curated by you though. Curated by me, absolutely, yeah, yeah. And so we want to be that connection point between the two groups, the group that isn't necessarily involved with charities, with maybe telling the story of these charities in a way that might speak to them a little more. Do, will you allow people to submit their own charities? Because your sort of breadth of, you know, charities that you can, you know, it's, that's, it's, you know, I, you know, it's like, a, I mean, I, it's like, I don't mean to say, but it's like everyone has their own opinion of what they value as like a valuable charity. Yeah. And since you're cur you know, it's like news, right? So some people think Fox News is great. And other people listen to NPR. Yeah. So the people who are cu curating the content have control, you know, are the controlling factors. So that, that's why I was asking, you know, is it, or is it kind of just promoting charities you believe in, or is it more of an ambiguous, like, like you said, we just want to support people that are doing, like we want to help promote positive giving back behavior. Yeah, um, to answer that a little bit, I would say that um, this is going to be a two-way like, communication with our users. It's a partnership that we're asking for. You can buy this and throw it into a drawer and you've done something well for somebody else, somebody went away. But the true unlocking is happening when you actively share it, when you interact with us. And so a lot of what we hear of is when I interact, like you need to check out this charity. This charity has a fantastic story that's not being shared. We want to give a venue in which we can revolt those up. So kind of more interactive marketing that specializes in curated content supporting charities that you guys believe in. That's a great way to look at it, yeah. yeah sure. So that's what can more than probably most people in this room. Can you speak more to how each charm represents a cause rather than a charity? Yeah, definitely. Um, our, first, really our, our first thought was to uh, create one charm per charity, and it will represent it that way. What we found is, uh, you know, some of the charities want to see proof of concept before they sign their name to things. So what we're looking to do is create like a mutual fund effect um, where we have a particular cause, and then we have some well-run charities that you go through Charity Navigator, you go through a, a ton of different sites that have already done the work of how to vet these things and um but you know like hand pick five that are tied in with that and then when the money comes in we divide it with us and then we'll be interacting with our members so when they sign on they could say okay i want a hundred percent of my donation to go to this one i want you to split it up evenly between the five it'll default and split it up between the five um, there'll be a lot of interaction but yeah initially for the first run just wow. to test the concept it will be mutual fund, but I can see in the future having exclusive partnerships. Like, if you are already uh, sponsoring a child on World Vision, say, per, you know, and you're paying thirty dollars a month, um, it'd be a nice value add to that charity to give you this as well. So you could, we're going to put these in the hand of the core supporters so they can send a consistent message and share with others in a non threatening way. What's the cost? You, I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, yeah, great. Um, you know, we it's still, it's still flexible, but we're uh, talking about about fifty dollar price point. Five zero. Five yeah. zero. Cool. Like uh, twenty to twenty five for the top and twenty to twenty five for the bottom, and then that gives us an opportunity to discount, if possible. Um, if somebody's like referring you, there's gonna be a lot of different ways that we can work with that. But uh, yeah, we want to make it attainable, but not. But I don't want this to be a trinket. If you spend five dollars on it, it'll be a trinket. We want it to mean something. Are you expecting more? I, I think that the product is really uh, outside the product. What the concept is is, is really awesome because a lot of yes, times no. um, the generation that you're talking about, they're probably one of the most philanthropic generations. So it really strikes a chord with the millennials. Mm -hmm. And being a lot of times people don't want to, uh, they don't know how to give back. So they they need somebody like you that's going to point them into a direction of um, creating opportunities for them to give back in ways to contribute. So I think that that's, that's going to be a huge selling point in your business. Thank you very much. Great. So from what I understand, 
Um, people in general would have like a cause or a charity. They try to give to something that impacts them the most, right? Yes. So are you like the middleman? Like the director, right? You're telling people like what charities you can get involved in if this is a cause that you really like, right? Like yeah. what do you describe, how do you describe yourself in the? What I would describe myself is to expose people to um, avenues, you know, because I'm sorry, like I've had like discussions with dozens of people. Everybody knows that like living like generously is super important. Um, but they also uh, don't necessarily have a charity in which they're plugged into or they know necessarily to plug into. We want to give them easy routes in order to get plugged into these charities in a way where it's fun, entertaining, and engaging, and not heart-wrenching, tug-at-your-heart video. Let's do it in a light-hearted way, and fun and engaging way, and then connect people together. Like, we wanna create a community within this. So if I'm at Starbucks, and I've got my acorn on me, and you run into someone else has an acorn, you have an instant communication that you can talk about what each one is, scan each other's, uh, like, acorn, and level up and it, it, it's it's gonna be a fun event there's a lot of technology we can wrap into this and we haven't even gone into yet um, but basically we're just looking to get people involved at some level and the hard part is moving people from zero to one they can move from one to ten on their own but that chasm is from zero to one and we want to help bridge that chasm Does that answer your question <laughs> So essentially, you want to be like a catalyst that starts the movement from zero to one when they take off from there on their own, essentially. Yeah, I'm hoping that once they get a taste of what it feels like to give back, and we are going to be peppering them constantly with what's in it for them. And as soon as they know what to look out for physically, socially, and how to get involved, and they can get a taste of that, then hopefully they can go run on their own. There'll be people who will piggyback off of that and do even better things than we have to do. One of the sort of standard. I'll get you next. I pro I'm so sorry. You're on. I'm sorry. Let me get. I'm sorry. Like your arms got to be tired. So, no. No. Mine is more informational. I love your product. Um, I work a lot with nonprofits. And yeah. There's a um, a very um, robust organization located in Williamsburg. And you may already know GuideStar.org. Have you ever heard of that? Guy what? GuideStar. Guide no, no, Star I haven't. No. Yeah. Yeah. But they work with nonprofits, and it's a database, and it's a collection house, and. It would be a wealth of information. So. That'd be great. Yeah, there's, uh, like I just found that this is the second largest market for charitable organizations mm -hmm. in the country. Wow. They really love that. That may have some relevance from why it's located in Williamsburg, but yeah. look guide size our org and it'll give you a wealth of information. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's, 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 that's like fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. One of the standard metrics in evaluating nonprofits is what portion of the money they receive they actually put. So what I'm wondering is it sounds like it's going to be sort of a low ratio in this organization. So how do you deal with that issue? Yeah, I mean, when you run into some people that are selling a $5 bottle of water and 10 cent goes to charity, there's always that, like, what ratio is. And initially, I think it was a $10, like, donation. But it was. But after talking with some people who had some really good advice, you can make it five. You can always double it. You can always move up when you find out what your real costs are. Mm -hmm. And so... The money donated is a byproduct of this. I think the uh, main source is an effective way to communicate with people, charities that are doing things the right way, and being able to share that consistent message with others, and be able to like, because I would I would love to donate the like majority of what we have, but we're going to be a for-profit organization. Um, there's so to answer your question we provide a service to the charities because they can't spend a lot of money in the marketing or they're going to be looked down upon. So if we can be a cost neutral marketing wing for them to put things in the hands of their core supporters and give them a way to share with others both online and in person, then that's a value add to the charities. So we're not necessarily in, you know, like, I mean, like, you know, having to raise a million dollars, we can do good by just giving them a way to spread the word. So that makes sense, Master Manos. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, just an easy one. I really like the video. Uh, who made it? Oh, uh, Fiverr. It's like two hundred fifty bucks. Plus. Easy. Oh. As a business that wants to, that is not a charity, they have a cause that they take up. Maybe it's temporary, maybe it's long term. 
what is the process for joining? Um, well, to have coffee and kind of see like what you guys are about and see um, and see what you're looking at. Maybe there's some opportunities to partner up and get some synergy. Um, I haven't looked into partnering with other for-profit industries, but uh, if there's a way, yeah, I mean, this is a baby product, so we're gonna absolutely, like Simi, do that. How do you, um, how do you plan on connecting the customers and building that community? Yeah, um, you know what, a lot of it's gonna be face-to-face -face interaction. If you're like displaying this in a place where it's available, that's fine. Now, we're not gonna share people's information with each other. There's not gonna be a GPS like locator where you're like, it's like Pokemon Go, like there's a charm around here somewhere. I mean, it might come eventually, you know, it might say never say never. But, uh, not, you know, it's not gonna do at 10 o'clock at night. No, exactly. But it's gonna be very driven by, better. you wanna like get involved, we're gonna tell you where to meet up with everybody. And, um, <laughs> you know, we're gonna have a centralized location at the table, you guys can check in, people can network there and, and, and like break bread. But we're not gonna be sharing information upon but what will happen is that you will have a username and then people use your username as a promo code when they sign up. So what that'll get them is a discount, it'll get you guys both charity points and it will start to create that network that you can see the usernames of the people that are under you. Most people you won't know because it'll be shares of shares of shares. Um, but uh, we wanna keep people's information private, but we also wanna bring people together to serve all right, guys, I think that's all we got time for. So uh, let's give uh, Project Charm a round Yeah, thanks everybody for coming. Uh